Hey everyone, today we're going to use the Pure Plus Yogurt Maker to make ourselves some goat's milk yogurt, which is the preferred yogurt for the GAPS and SCD diets. Lots of people find that goat's milk is more easily digested than cow's milk because of its different proteins and fats. To make our goat milk yogurt today, we're going to follow pretty much the same method that we would use to make our cow milk yogurt. Because the fats and proteins are different in goat's milk, the yogurt does turn out a little runny. So there's a couple of things that we're going to do to make sure that we get it a little bit thicker. So we're going to be holding our milk at 85 degrees for a little longer than normal, around 20 to 30 minutes. So it's gonna be really important that you have a digital thermometer. The other thing we can do is strain it through some cheesecloth once it's chilled in the fridge. So before you get started, make sure that all of your equipment is sterilized. Then you can pour your goat milk straight into a heavy based pot. We're using one liter of goat's milk today, but you can make up to two liters in the Pure Plus yogurt maker. We're going to heat up this milk slowly to 85 degrees and hold it there for 20 to 30 minutes. You need to be careful that the milk doesn't burn on the bottom, so it might be a good idea to use a double boiler. Slowly bring the temperature up to 85 degrees and hold it there for around 20 to 30 minutes. Once you've done that, you can take it off the heat and cool it down to well below 43 degrees. Anything above that temperature is going to kill the good bacteria in our yogurt starter. Once your milk has cooled down to below 43 degrees, then you can add your yogurt starter. I'm going to use one five gram sachet of the Yo Gourmet yogurt starter today. Give it a whisk through and then you can put the lid back onto the yogurt jar. Place the jar into the yogurt machine and then you can fill up the water bath up to the tall line indicator. Place the lid back on and we're going to punch in our time and temperature settings, which are 38 degrees and 24 hours. Hit confirm and then incubation will start. When the incubation time has finished, put it into the fridge to chill and set for at least six hours. This has been in the fridge now for around six hours, so I'll show you what it looks like. As you can see, it's quite a runny yogurt, which is perfectly fine to eat as is. It's got that familiar goat's cheese flavor to it, which would pair really nicely with a lot of savory dishes. If you wanted to thicken it up slightly, then you could strain it through several layers of cheesecloth and take out some of that whey. I'm going to do that today. So I've just put my yogurt into five or six layers of cheesecloth that's sitting inside a strainer over a large bowl to collect the whey. Now I'm just going to put this into the fridge and it'll drip for around two hours. So I've dripped my yogurt now for a couple of hours. A lot of the whey has come out and now it's a really nice thick and creamy consistency. This can now go back into a clean yogurt container and be stored in the fridge ready for you to use how you like. So that's how you make your own goat milk yogurt. If you're following an SCD or GAPS diet, then this is an awesome recipe for you and we hope you give it a go at home. If you haven't already, hit subscribe to see more Lavelli Life recipes. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it and we'll see you again next week.